Hi, Marie here, back with another fun glazing video for you. This time I'm going to show you how to bubble glaze and share a few secrets that may help you get a better bubble glaze. Bubble glazing gives your pottery another unique look. You can bubble glaze on leather hard, bone dry, or bisqueware. I'll be bubble glazing on bisqueware. For this project, I have underglaze, distilled water, soap, wax resist with a separate brush, of course, tablespoon, spatula, long straw, banding wheel, a square plastic container, two bowls, one with water and a sponge, clear satin glaze, a strainer, a mixer, two hack brushes, one medium and one large, a rag, and bisqueware. Everything you need to bubble glaze is also listed down below in the show notes. Let's blow some bubbles. Before we get started, it's important to wipe down your pottery with a clean, damp sponge. This gets all the dust particles off and helps the glaze bond nicely to your piece. While my bowl and plate are drying, let's make the bubble glaze. I'm going to start with Spectrum Bright Blue Underglaze. Always mix your underglaze. I use this milk frother. It does a good job in mixing my underglazes. Start with three tablespoons of distilled water. It's always best to use distilled water with any glazes. One tablespoon of bright blue spectrum underglaze. and two to three squirts of soap. I'll do three. And gently mix together. Now a few secrets to help you get a better bubble glaze. I use a square container. When I tip my container, all of the bubble glaze goes right in the corner. Also, my straw stays right in the corner so I don't have to hold it while I'm blowing the bubbles. It stays put. I also use a longer straw. This helps me to see around the bubbles and not get any in my face. I also had a problem with the underglaze bubbles dripping at first. I thought it was spilling when I was tilting my container, but the bubbles were popping and dripping. Placing an old rag around the rim helped me to solve that problem. It may not stop all of the drips, but sure does help. I also have an article with more information on bubble glazing. I left a link for you in the description below. Let's start blowing those bubbles. I'm using a plastic tablecloth. This works great and the underglaze wipes right off. I'm starting with my plate. This plate was made with Amico Amix number 11 stoneware white clay. I'll get a little closer.
bubbles. And it didn't drip on the plate. Cool. For my bowl, I'm using Speedball Red Under Glaze. I already mixed up my bubble glaze. My bowl is made with Amico Stoneware 38 White Clay. design that made Let it dry before we put the final touches on it. I like the bubble glaze pattern on the bottom of the bowl and the plate, so I'm going to put some wax on, wax resist on before I glaze it so the pattern stays on. Always use a separate brush. And be very careful to let the wax resist float on. I don't want to disturb the pattern or smear it. Very gently. Ever so Still. 
Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Yeah. I'll let that dry before I put the glaze on. Perfect. My utensil holder is made with Amico Stoneware 46 Buff Clay. I already have the bubble glaze mixed using Spectrum Dark Olive Under Glaze. Now that the underglaze is dry, it's time to apply some clear glaze. I'm using Amico Satin Clear Glaze. I've already put it through a strainer to catch any clumps or debris and mixed it really well. First, I'm going to pour it in. And as I'm pouring out, I'm turning the utensil holder. Great. Because this is a large area, I'm using the large hack brush. Let it just flow over the bubble glaze. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to smear the bubbles. Here. Just let it float right on. If you're new to glazing, you can check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. Applying one more coat of clear glaze on the outside only. Yes. Yes. Careful. Now we'll let that dry. I'll be using a medium sized hack brush for my plate. Carefully float on your glaze so you don't disturb the pattern of the bubble glaze. Now apply a coat to the bottom of my plate. I have to be too careful here because I have wax resistance. There we go. 
I'm going to pour the clear glaze in the bowl. Um, and rotate as I'm pouring it out. Make sure all the way around. Now I'm applying a clear coat to the outside. Just let it float right on. Careful. I don't want to smear the bubble glaze pattern. I'm applying one more coat on the bottom of my plate. One more coat on the inside of my plate. Nice and thick. I'm going to apply one more coat on the outside of my bowl. Let it dry and wipe off the bottom with a clean damp sponge. And into the kiln it goes for a firing at cone five. Here are the finished pieces. I like how they turned out. You can see where I put the wax resist. The pattern stayed. With the tips I shared with you, I know you can create some nice bubble patterns too. On a serious note, I want to make videos that you, my viewers, want to see, which means I need your ideas for future videos. Don't be shy. Also, never think that your idea isn't good enough. Someone else may be wondering the same thing you are. I look forward to hearing everyone's ideas. Also, make sure you check out Pottery Crafter's website, where you find more tips and techniques on everything from touching clay for the first time to tuning up the pedal on your pottery wheel. You liking, subscribing, and watching my videos supports this channel and helps me to make more videos like this one. Head on over to the sponge glazing basics or wedging clay video. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.